guys welcome back to the vlog and for today I'm going to have a bunch of random things that we wanted to get done in the house and around the house so first I'm starting out with some easy breakfast and I'm going to use some nasturtium leaf one I didn't have any other greens at home and it just popped in my head I still have some nasturtium leaves in the garden it can improve the immune system and also it's packed with vitamin c so it's a great addition in our breakfast and the taste is very mild it's a little bit like a horse reddish taste to it but it's very very mild To be honest with you, lately this garden with the zucchinis it scares me away. <laughs> I refuse to go out for a couple of days because there's just so many zucchinis that I have to process and I just I don't want to deal with more. <laughs> but it's time to do some cleanup. I have to harvest some things and also I got so many weeds that I I'm going to just pull out and give it to the chickens and make sure the tomato leaves and the green beans are going to stay away from the chickens because those are poisonous to them so I always google before I give something to my chickens to do a complete setup for this garden we started from scratch this year so we were kind of late with the greenhouse and everything and I had to buy some plants from the nursery so we definitely going to be more on top of the things next spring so I'm excited for that also I have to do a better planning and we still have to work and improve the dirt so this is something we struggled the soil we added some fertilizer and sand but we are still trying to balance what we had in our previous garden which was over 10 years of composting so <laughs> we're just starting over now to establish a nice dirt so i had this trouble with the carrots one i had to buy at the nursery and they just planted so close to each other i couldn't separate them so i just let them grow and then they still couldn't grow this much because it wasn't soft enough the ground so we have to work on that for next year but you know what as as everything that it goes in the garden it doesn't go waste because the chickens can eat it so that's a very nice feeling that we can feed them from the garden and also next year i'm planning to grow more food for them so we don't have to buy as much
we went to the beach the other day and that vlog is up if you haven't seen it that was my previous video and so each time when we come back from the beach you know the story sand is everywhere in the car in the house in the in our mouth and eyes <laughs> it's basically everywhere so it was just a perfect timing to do this right after we got home from the beach and basically as i clean the car i just like to use all the advantage that those little attachment can give me cleaning the car is definitely it's not my favorite thing to do because it just got so many knocks and crannies but it was at least a nice sunny day and i know once the rain will arrive it would be much more hassle to clean it so i'm just going to get it over now When I clean my car, I make sure I don't use any vinegar on any surface. I find that, um, that vinegar can damage the interior of the cars. So I just use some warm soapy water. The only vinegar that I used, it was on the windows and I just tried that to spray it on the rag, make sure it doesn't get anywhere, especially on the plastic. They just don't like vinegar. They just lose their color. They get stains and just, they just, look weird <laughs> so that's just my two cents make sure just to use just a very light soapy water and that will do the cleaning Okay, so should we put, it's going to knock out your teeth. So should we put up one long one or the shorter would do it? Can you hold it up a little side? Maybe the biggest one. Do you want to ski? I think this looks pretty good actually. Oh, okay, okay. There. Maybe a little bit lower, a little bit lower. I, I kind of like it. We have to order some light here. Light? Oh, you know what? Yeah, light. up here. So we can put this one up after you put this one so we can cover yes. one of the holes. I need to get some screws. Oh, I got some. Look at this how thick this one is. And the drill to drill a hole on it because that's... Oh, that's a lot of work. I don't want to split it. it up. Okay, so I am keep pushing these furnitures around to find the way I think we would like it. So for now, eventually I want to have a bigger... Um, work in here but for now i want to create this area with those hooks all the hanging clothing will be on this side and i want to replace the shelves over here because these are actually a pretty good decent size but they are kind of i don't know how much you can see it's bending so i think it's just a butterfly breath holding it up so there's nothing that holds that <laughs> and those are kind of heavy things so those are my art supplies our pictures so they're kind of heavy 
so we need just a better structured one so we're going to use some real wood shelves some unfinished one so it would pull it together with this one Even just adding hooks on the wall can help so much because it's just a very convenient way to organize things and basically this wall it's empty anyway so that way we can use it for a storage. We don't have any cabinets or areas where we can keep other things besides of this big closet but I actually I don't mind that. I find that that is easier that everything that we have is in one place. When I'm putting away the laundry or the sheet and the clothing is there and also when my family is asking for something <laughs> I'm just telling them it's in the closet. <laughs> Where is the tape? It's in the closet. Where are the wrapping papers? It's in the closet. So everything is in there. It's no brainer so it's very easy to find everything. This one area storage method kind of simplified things for us. The reason I want to redo this closet is to add more shelves that are on the more convenient level because right now we have one shelf that is all the way on the top so it's kind of hard to reach things so I want to make it more easier on us to grab the things on the eye level or a little bit lower so it will be easier to use. Okay, so I'm getting there. I have extra clothing up there for Jot. I have some hangers, so once I wash the clothing, it's very close to the entrance to the closet, so it's going to be convenient. We got some empty space, and those are the sheets, and I just put some tags so I can see those are the twin size. Why did I write king? We don't even have queen. King, <laughs> We have a queen. So I have to fix that. <laughs> I don't know what was I thinking. And then, so this is my area. I have all the summer and winter clothes in there and over here. So that section is mine. And this is Jouette's. And I got some blankets up there. And I have some curtains. And those I will have to figure it out once we are finished with the windows and also I was thinking for summer if I make a party it would be nice to just hang it on the patio and just make a cozy area so that's just an idea and then so we get all the extra blankets up there and this is pretty much it and I have some stuff on the back side of the door and this is basically all of our things everything so that's including the christmas ornaments and all my art supplies pictures and what we want to keep as a memory so everything is in here in this closet and then we will get back to work on this closet eventually so i want to have a built-in all made from this type of unfinished wood but joat has so many other things and projects that he wants to finish so we will get around that when he feels ready and it was kind of tricky to figure it out where to put the hanging stuff i kind of like it better 
here on this side because as we step in you don't see it right away so it just looks more relaxing that way my main goal was with this organizing is to have everything off of the floor because our closet we keep everything in here so it started to go downhill a little so i had to rearrange things to just to make it more sense to it how we use it so now it's much better and i also i'm looking forward to when we can make the built-ins but until we get around that we can just have an easier use for this space and honestly is just way easier to clean that way so that's why i like to keep everything off of the floor because it's easier to clean thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you soon in the next one bye